wanna spend my life with you all day You say that you love me, is it true? You say I'm the only one that's all for you Okay, make me feel away Make me feel away Shorty so damn dangerous Fuck me like I'm famous, yeah I've been so impatient So glad that you made it here yeah. Took my dick and faced it Shorty going crazy, yeah Thought that you was playing, yeah Saw me spray it everywhere She want me to take it, take it What you trying to do? Shorty said she like it Hey girl, hey, welcome back to another episode of That Girl Got Knowledge. And before we get into all the juicy details and our beautiful guests, we wanted to give a huge shout out to our mother, Ebony. We love you, we miss you, have a great time on maternity leave. Take care of my little mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get into the tea. We have the beautiful Miss Jalea today. Thank welcome, you. welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And then we also, we got a new guest on the table, a new host on the table. Introduce yourself too, girl. Hi, everyone. I'm Brianna. I'm so excited to be here. And we are, it's all about you. I'm excited <laughs> to be you, here. Um, but it is all about you. So, let's get into the yes. tea. I mean, y'all already know who I am, so no need for the introduction. Um, y'all yes, know who I am. Too. I know, right? <laughs> Literally. So, Miss Jalea, like, tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, where are you from? Like, you know, just how did you get started with like entrepreneurship and like just schooling and everything of that sort? Like, just tell us a little bit about your upbringing. Okay, I'm gonna answer those questions direct because it's so many things. Yeah, okay. so many. Okay, things. cool. So my name is Julia Sidnor. Um, I'm from Baltimore. Um, how I got into entrepreneurship, that's the first question. I'm like, oh yeah, direct. Cool, so when I was about seven or eight, I used to go to this fair like downtown, like in the hood or something like that. Like I'm a county girl, I'm not. But anyways, um, I like to make jewelry, like with literally like string, stones, I've always been like a nature girl. So I brought two of my home girls, one of them was like nine, <laughs> and the other one was like 10. And I stood out there for like four hours and sold jewelry, made like $600. I remember, you know me, I'm like, Wait, I'm, what? I'm great. I know, I'm 600, yeah. So like, at a kid, I knew what that felt like. Mm -hmm. So that was when the spirit of entrepreneurship, the spirit mm -hmm. comes before you having a title. Yeah. So like around that age, I'm like, oh yeah, this entrepreneur feeling really was in me. Boom. Um, did you say how I got into my career? Well, more so, I guess like your schooling. And right, like so um, yeah. I went to school a little late because I like entered skipping a grade. So like going into kindergarten, I was able to do like, in like the private schools, they would do things like sit stuff in front of you. You have to show them, you know, private school, you had to test to get in. Yeah. So like the test, I was acing. What private so, school did you go to? I went to, uh, it was Long Reach at the time. Now it's called Celebration. Mm -hmm. um, that was like my preschool type. Gotcha. And then like kindergarten, when I was supposed to go in, I went to um, this school called Bethel Christian Academy. I heard, I heard. I think it's in like Laurel or something. Yeah. yeah they're actually not far from here. Mm -hmm. And then um, that was when I had skipped. Gotcha. First time. Yeah. Um, so you get multiple grades. Yeah. yeah Come on. No, that's dope. <laughs> we love a smart and hottie. So, one story I can tell y'all real quick is when I had first kid, like I didn't really have a lot of friends because I was like always a new girl for real. Mm -hmm. But I have brothers who were in the school, so it was like mm -hmm. we know her, but she knew. So one day um, I'm in class and like this girl needed needed help. Mind you, she didn't know how to do the work. And me, like, I'm like, oh, let me show you, let me help you. Teacher said, don't talk, but I'm like, show the girl need help. Yeah. So I ended up like getting in trouble. Like I'm literally going back and forth with my teacher as to why I felt as though it was okay for me to talk. And ever since they, they called me Lady J for justice. I know that's I love it. it. Anyway, I'm so just. So it's crazy. I ended up in timeout, right? And you know, they, they put you in like a little timeout and stuff when you went to other school. And it was a ceremony that day to give out student of the year. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the second grade, right? So I had skipped out of kindergarten and I skipped again into the second grade. Wow. And literally like a couple weeks in, I had give, been given like student of the year. But at the time as a kid, mm -hmm. I didn't know. I'm just, oh, okay, piece of paper, yeah. little trophy, yeah. $600. So I always had that spirit of reward and what yeah. that took. And so, yeah, that's really how I got into like everything that I'm doing now. You know, like it was really like intentionally kind of groomed, groomed in me. And I even get that was how I was raised. Gotcha. So a lot of my background truly comes from like my family, my, my tradition, mm -hmm. um, like my culture, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that's me. You know, I'm Julia from Baltimore. Yes. <laughs> what is your family structure? Are you the youngest? Are I'm you, the middle. Do you have a middle child? I'm How many middle. siblings do you have? Okay. Um, so I have three siblings. So I have an older sister, but she's much older. Mm -hmm. So growing up, I was really just like with my brother. So I have an older brother. 
Jalen is two years older than me, and then I have a younger brother, Jaden. Um, he's like oh, three. Wow. Oh, so it's all J names. Yeah. That's yeah. how my family is too. Yeah. My family's the same way. Yeah. So yeah. So even growing up with that, and I was like the only girl at home, so it was always like competitive. It was, yeah. So with everything I just told y'all in that, you get what I'm saying? That yeah. alone. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, that's how she got like that. Yeah. yeah. So like, what did it feel like to come home <laughs> at such a young age and make that type of money? Like, you know, obviously. Even yeah. now, like six hundred dollars just to get off of something very, like you know, look, something you're that you love. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I hit the lottery because yes. y'all know, y'all know, like when we were kids and like your cousins and your grandparents would slip you one dollar, like yeah. one dollar, yeah. yeah. like, but you got six hundred dollars. Like I'm, I'm coming out that day like wow, like okay, but um, what would your parents say? Because if my kid came home and <laughs> made six hundred dollars, I'd be my like, my parents is out there. Look, 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 I'm always like, anything that I tell y'all today, I promise y'all, my family was right with me. Mm -hmm. That's like. Parents and siblings, like right with I me. Love so that. my mom was out there with me in the heat. It's the yeah. support though. It wasn't like, man, I think it was like the weekend of my mother's birthday. My mother was straight out there with oh. me, like support my baby. I got that type of mother. Mm -hmm. right? I love and that. so, yeah, it was just, you know, even I could say it was like that entrepreneurship wise because my parents always believed in investing in me. And allowing me to do what I wanted to do. So like after that, I was like, I made six hundred dollars next. Look. Exactly. Man. So then I started baking in the in the house. I mean like tear cakes. Like wow. really baking. Um, my parents had sent me down to Charlotte to work with this black woman who made wedding cakes. Mm. And so I'm again at this point I'm Investment. like ten, eleven. Oh, so you yeah. were still really Yeah, I was buddy off a of cake boss, don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> and so real clouds, I moved to Jersey to be on cake boss. I know it's boom boom boom. And so I started making cakes. Mm -hmm. It's like making tiered cakes, birthday cakes for like two, three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And what, how were you, were, was this like more so uh, junior high or like? No, this is like right still elementary. Like, oh, this is wow. Like middle, and like middle school. Yeah, she said she was oh, like 10 or 11. And like, so like at this still. point, I was making money, not yeah. even able to work yet. Like yeah. I'm, I'm always, and again, like anything I wanted to go into, my parents, cool. Like they, they invested in me. Right. They supported me. You need that. And so, though. yeah, I went from that, um, came back and I got into sports. Mm -hmm. And my, my parents were the same way with sports, play AAU. Same. Saying I hooped, um, I hooped. I was really a hoop. My brothers hooped, so I wanted to hoop. What, what team did you uh, hoop for? Um, I played in middle school when I was at coming out of McDonough, going to Chapel Gate. Then mm -hmm. I played for the oh no, I, I played for the Lady Panthers like long time. Lady Panthers, okay. But before gotcha. then, um, I played. Oh, I can't even remember. Like, like the, the actual name, yeah, like that. no. But I, AAU, I was really just playing yeah. AAU. No, AAU was really what put you in a position for scholarships and like mm -hmm. stuff like that. But at home, my parents was always on me with school. Yeah. Again, like my mother, I had to read a book every week. I had to write oh, a book okay. report. I was like, I, I love trying to be outside. Yeah. Like, that was my mother. Like, you need to write and a book report. And I gotta write <laughs> a book report. Tell me about this. Tell me about that. Like, so it was always like that. You get what I'm saying? So by the time I get to middle school, right? Mm -hmm. Like around like 15, 16, I can get a little job, you know. So um, I, I always worked a job that required sales. Mm. And mind you, like, again, like. Smooth operator. Yeah, like, I, I can still catch up to a lady living white gloves. <laughs> For real. So um, it's cool. Like, I, I got into jobs like that, but I'm just telling y'all what it was like for me being a young kid. I'm ready to get some money. Yeah. yeah. That little minimum wage ain't no money, baby. Like, <laughs> And yeah. so, but she was already making way more than that anyway. Yeah, yeah, young. yeah. But one Early thing on. is, before I really like branched out and got to know myself, when I did one thing, that was it. Mm -hmm. So I really kind of like stopped baking cakes, and I wanted to get into like the jobs that I was working. I really did. Like mm -hmm. when I'm, so like I had genuinely like started working, you know, these little jobs around the town and stuff yeah. like that. Um, but then. I just really got deep into sports. You know, around here it's like you gotta get a scholarship. You know, I got siblings. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get a scholarship. Um, so I really just kind of focused on sports. So for a bit, I kind of fell back from I would say the profiting margin of entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. and I really got into leadership. Mm -hmm. So like I was team captain. Yeah. Um, I love being a team player. Like mm -hmm. I feel like captain is just a title. Like I, I love being a team player. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like we are collaboration yeah um so i was like running track you know team captain bringing this record and, you know at this point it's like you leave school i'm not coming home and going to work now i'm practicing 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 practicing, practicing. Yeah. my parents got me one of the best track coaches um my track coach is sanjay shout out to sanjay but um he runs for team jamaica he's like this what you saying bolt he's a big joke like Jeez. that's like some of my uncle yeah. for real I'm like yeah. yeah like that's my people yeah but i trained with him my wow. homegirl who was my center when i was hooping was like state champ. Shorty was running a 450 and 56. That's crazy. In high school. That's high school. crazy. Running a, but she, she was in the 200, she was running like a 24. Going into That's high school, sad. she was like that. 
And so again, like I'm training with these people again, mm -hmm. constant investment, constant, yeah. you know, installation. And so was running track, um, ended up running track kind of coming out. It was mainly basketball, but mm -hmm. I ended up running track kind of coming out. And um, at that point, everything had, was being instilled in me. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to go to college. It's time for me to learn to be decisive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what you wanted to actually yeah. do. where do I want to go? What do I want to do? I want to go to a school with nice gear. I'm not going to no D3 school. <laughs> yeah. I'm from Owings Mills. Ended up graduating from Newtown. I said, I'm not going to school out here. Yeah. And ended up at Stevenson. Yeah. <laughs> The school around my way, that's a D3 school. But um, yeah, let I me, mean, I don't know, I could keep talking, I'm trying to. No, but tell, <laughs> like, tell us about like your, your studies and like what, cause you said that your undergrad is in- um, Biology. Yeah, yeah, biology. So that's what made so you wanna go into biology yeah. Yeah. from yeah. having like this entrepreneurial, like, you know, just spirit to getting into something that's heavily like science focused. <laughs> crazy, like, right? Yeah. Ooh, no, it's not crazy, it's well-rounded. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a true believer that God will give you talents to walk into your gift. Mm -hmm. So like my gift is service. Mm -hmm. Like God, Same. I'm on this earth to serve. I love service. Same. But like my my entrepreneurship is a talent of mine. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And so like, that's always just been a thing for real. I love science. Really? Like, that's cool. Like let's get back to the school part. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I've always thought like that, like real strategic, real innovative, real analytical, real, I want to study, I want to learn, I want to be. Yeah. And so I've always been into science. Like growing up, I was like, I'm going to be a doctor. Not even knowing, like me now, it's like, oh yeah, I want that money. I want to lead on. But like when I was young, it's like, oh, I want to wear the white coat. I want to have the little stethoscope. Yeah. But um, I knew I wanted to go be a doctor. So um, I, what you do, you biology major. So that was why when I was offered a full academic scholarship, it was crazy. I literally, it was on the news and everything. I'm like, yo, y'all fucking up my flow. I'm not going to that school. Y'all got me on the news. <laughs> I'm about to come into a whole nother school. Yeah. But it's crazy. Quick side note, when I was walking back to class after they gave me the scholarship like stevenson came up to newtown and had the mascot and everything it was like yeah. a big deal um literally like walking back i was like i'm not going there like they just did too much like i said i didn't want to go there <laughs> but then i really stopped at the door and i guess like it's something like literally punched me in my face like girl do you realize they gave me like a quarter of a million dollars yeah mm -hmm. free money like, to go to school this tuition is yeah. seventy thousand a year yeah. i remember i just literally like kneeled down on the ground and cried and i was like i'm gonna go there yeah so then i just surrendered and accepted like mm -hmm. cool this is a full academic scholarship i don't gotta run track yeah <laughs> like, you can do so it. like now that i have that capacity i'm gonna put it into biology pre off of a pre-med track because mm -hmm. i know i want to be a doctor yeah so um i end up you know going a little lit ended up on academic probation oh lord <laughs> listen <laughs> but it happens it happens, it happens. get that freedom yeah, yeah. it happens, it happens. <laughs> You know, I had ended up injured for real, and I feel like it was really hard for me to um, like cope with that. Mm -hmm. Like I, again, I just told y'all how I. So like when I got injured, it was like okay. What do I do? <laughs> but it's a part. It's a part of your so, bigger story, yeah. though. So I had a lot going on. You know, you get to college, you start to really like figure things out for yourself and like things like that, and just you know different things were going on. Like um, one thing that I think really instilled a lot of me around that transition was I was injured, but I still was like given team captain. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of the girls didn't understand that. Like, yo, this girl hasn't even touched the track yet. Like, you get what I'm saying? But I've always dealt with that, um, facing that challenge of let's call a spade a spade envy, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, like Do I'm telling you, understand. I was injured. Like a lot of, it was really hard for me to like, like make genuine friendships. Like I come from a lot of, a lot of love. Mm -hmm. So I have very strict discernment on love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to be around that spirit. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. And so like it was it was a lot going on. Like all of my friends from high school kind of moved out the state. Um my, my family was going through like a divorce, you get what I'm saying? Like dealing with that. And just it was a lot. It was a lot going on. So um So I'm gonna start doing my lashes. <laughs> I love that. Listen, <laughs> pivot. You gotta pivot. I'm gonna like, start doing my lashes. Like, I'm gonna start doing my lashes. Like, so you know. I'm still traveling to the track meets. Again, I'm still like not not really clear to, to run. So when did you start your lash business? What year? Oh, we're gonna get into that. You're gonna be like, girl, like how I went from that to this. That's why this is that's why I asked. Because I was like, now we like freshman you know, year. Pretty like, early. Now I'm like freshman year still. Yeah. So like I'm still not cleared to run, but I'm still traveling with them. Mm -hmm. So again, like I don't really I'm not cleared to run, but I'm like, yo, team captain, whatever. 
So I'm traveling with them, and it was like the night before the meets. I didn't start wearing makeup until like a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And so the night before the meets, like, you know, the girls are doing all of that, and I just wasn't really into that for real. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm cool in my room for real. Like, I don't really like yeah. it. I'm cool in my room. This is when uh, Future Drop Hendrix. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Child, Lord. <laughs> I'm cool just vibing out Lolo. And um, I remember one day I had gone to the store and seen, like, the individuals. Like mm -hmm. the like the little cluster ones. Mm -hmm. The one time I had lashes before then, I was like one of the youngest to compete in Miss Maryland Teen USA back in like two thousand. And then you did pageants. We, we, like, we like in two thousand nine. Oh. Like back in two thousand nine, I was like wow. fourteen, and mm -hmm. most girls wow. only were like eighteen. But again, I'm used to that because I skipped Excuse grades. Yeah. So going back, um, I ended up in the room like just you know I'm gonna try this. Like you know, I wore yeah. lashes before. I think I can do this. Pop them in, and like they like I did a good job. They looked good. It was like okay, this is cool. So. One thing, like when I kind of like nug into something, I would really lean in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, cool, next day I'm putting them in, I'm touching them up, I'm keeping them together, and I just really liked it. Like I loved it, you know, I don't, I didn't really do makeup and like my hair, I was like, a, I've always been a hair girl. But like, you know, yeah. like cool, hair and lashes, this is my thing for real. So that was really my thing for me. Mm -hmm. um, even when I was able to run track again, uh, I always had my nails done too. <laughs> and so everybody like, oh, you like Flo Jo, da, da, da. Like my first race back was a four by four at Penn Relays. We actually broke the record Girl. for him, for our like our conference or our, our centennial. Mm -hmm. Then um, had half up, half down, lashes done. Giving, giving, <laughs> lashes done, <laughs> lashes done. And yeah. so yeah, like that was really how I got into it. So um, a couple years in, you know, it's like like coming out of sophomore year, going into junior. Some of my friends are like, you know, can you do mine? Can you pop them in for me? Can you like look out for me? Um, so I'm saying, yeah, like what I gotta say no to. You. Like yeah. this is what you need to get. This is what you can do. Yeah. What do you want? And I kind of was like figuring it out with them. So um, this is like two, three years in coming out. My junior year was like around when COVID happened, mm. and my coach was being. Um, I had an altercation with my coach. No, uh, let's be real. He was being inappropriate. Mm. Mm -hmm. And my program really tried to like hush, hush. hunt, hush, hush, we're not going to mm. do that. Yeah. So, um, you know, coming out of that, again, I'm on this place where I got to transition to figure out what's me, what's me, lashes. Yeah. So I literally had stopped running track, was like depressed in, in, in my apartment for like two weeks. Like did not want to eat, sleep, get up, anxiety through the roof. That's a lot. And I'm like, yo. Turn me up. <laughs> Especially that you, like I'm good at this last time. Like, yeah. take a look and so, <laughs> um, navigating is something that another talent of mine. So mm -hmm. I'm like, cool, make an Instagram. This is what I'm gonna call it. Da 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 da. Yeah. So you know, I'm taking a couple pictures, showing people. You know, I'm building my brand. And what year was this? Um, this is my junior year going into my senior year, right when like COVID happened. That's so like 2020. 2020. Yeah, 2019, yeah. 2020. Gotcha. And so now I'm not running track. I'm yeah. about to graduate undergrad. Um, had gotten accepted into master's programs and I'm really about to start this lash thing. Yeah. And so one thing that intrigued me was the innovative part of it. Like girls is like, oh, my lashes is burning. This happens, mm -hmm. this happens. I'm gonna solve it. I'm gonna solve it where you have a solution, you have a stream and that's where the income comes. Mm -hmm. Money comes after success and a lot of people like, really look past that. Mm -hmm. So I I be, I became successful at a very early part in my lash career mm -hmm. regarding the innovation of eyelashes. Yeah. And like the the products. I bought y'all some stuff for my new line drama. Oh, oh, thank you. Like, I'm, excited. I'm excited too. I got you some Ebony too, girl. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um no, I just like I was big on innovation and again back to my gift, like seeing women happy with that. Mm -hmm. And like seeing what that did for them, yeah. like like the conversations and the power and the energy and like them being like, oh my gosh, like I've, I've never had lashes last. Yeah. So like you're the first yeah. last second like, I'm gonna say like, but that's what I believe in medicine. Now let's hop back to that. Cool. Okay, before we hop, cause <laughs> yeah. this story yeah. is it's like it's juicy. We hop. <laughs> look, you just you storytelling. So. Yes. Before we hop into that, we gonna hop into these commercials and we'll be right back. Yes. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Janae, owner of Faith Body Bar located in downtown Baltimore at 924 East Baltimore Street, where we specialize in comfort waxing and intimate skincare. So if you're a girly that just loves hair removal, self-care, or just intimate skin waxing, come see your girl down at Faith Body Bar. Yes, yeah, so welcome back. I want to get into just like a little more like nitty gritty aspects of like entrepreneurship because I have questions. So as an esthetician myself who has her own business and everything of that sort, navigating entrepreneurship has been, I'll say 
difficult in the sense of like decision making and being okay. decisive. So do you have any tips on just being like a leader in like your own space and your own decisions okay. and like how to combat indecisiveness? Because I, I struggle. I'm a, I hear I'm, it's two things I, yes. I want to first address on what I received in it. Mm -hmm. One, you said I have a business. Yes. Do you have a business or are you a business? Period. So that's, the that's way a, that you analyze look, that's that, because like the thing is like like people think that being an entrepreneurship is having a business. I got a business. Mm -hmm. So like off of a business you can hustle. Mm -hmm. Off of a business you can have a business. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like there's so many different characteristics of business, mm -hmm. and I feel like the identity of your business is really what determines those other things that you're asking me about. Yeah. You said combat. What yes. did you say? Combat decisiveness. Indecisiveness. Indecis Indecisiveness. Indecis because so I guess. Because the, but the thing is, the like, is like, you got to be sure. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, the idea of indecisiveness isn't real to me. Gotcha. Um, I believe in confirmation and I trust myself. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do, I, like, I want to do that. Like, and yeah. I stand on it. And I think is like, you just have to process. You have to slow yourself down. You can't be fearful. Yeah. Like, that same spirit that you have as a kid where you're, like, crazily fearless. Yeah. You know, but it's not so delusional. <laughs> now exactly. that you're older, you have yeah. confirmation, you can process it. Yeah. So like one thing for me was like choosing what I want to major in. I know mm -hmm. I like to 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 hustle. I like to hustle. Mm -hmm. I like to hustle going into college. So I'm like, okay, major in bio or like be like a business major or something like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, but I was indecisive, but then I thought about it. Mm -hmm. I said, boom, okay. To run a business, you don't need a major. You don't. You don't, no. yeah. To be a doctor, I do need to, I need this. Mm -hmm. Problem solved. Like, there's not much. <laughs> I could, oh, yeah. but I feel this and I do that. See, that's what makes us different from anim animals is we contemplate. Very much so. <laughs> we yeah. really sit on things and contemplate. Like, that doesn't even feel good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, like, I know me, I don't like that. I'm very aware and I can stand on that. I don't like that. Yeah. And so a lot of people think that it's confidence. But it's my ability and my and my my ability and my elasticity to do that. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like one thousand percent. I can be nervous. I can I can, but like I know like when I started entrepreneurship, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never really um this is a blessing. I've never gone this way. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard for me to relate to a lot of other people mm -hmm. and that that have an idea of entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, because eighty nine percent of businesses that start fail that first year. Their yeah. first year. And like or within first one to three years. So mm -hmm. like they're trying to get some traction but they don't know how to scale it or yeah. they don't know how to mm -hmm. grow it. So Yeah, but I think that's a big part of it is like standing on it. Like I've never taken a class for lashes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you know how much could be running through my oh my god, I'm not I don't know, I've never took class. I'm mm -hmm. good at it. Like you heard yeah. this, like the way I spoke on it. Like lashes is my thing. Like, like, yeah. like I yeah. like I know what it's like to not be like that. Like mm -hmm. I've been depressed before. I literally was like calling my mother, just crying. Like I don't even know why I'm crying, but uh, days, 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 days. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've been abandoned before. I've been neglected before. I've been ignored. You know what I'm saying? Like so, compartmentalization. Yeah. You know, and like one thing that being down there taught me is I don't want that to define me. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, I was talking to my homegirl the other day, like, like, yo, you want me to keep it real with you? I hear you, and I understand. Do you want that to be you? Mm -hmm. You know, like, it's okay that you don't have it figured out right now, but, like, what do you want for yourself? Yeah. You know? Do you want that to define you? Do you want to be the victim of that? And it is okay to be wronged. I'm not neglecting that. Mm -hmm. But I just knew what I wanted, and I didn't want to live in that that victim mindset, even though the emotions are real. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to put that on myself. Yeah. So mind you, like it's very hard to do that. So what 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 the scientists and nigga nerd and me do? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right? I started like, all right, cool. So the brain and and this is how the brain works. Okay, and uh, and neurological pathways. Okay, so this and how people are is neuroscience psychology. Yeah. And yeah. So after. I graduated in biology and this is like going into you know again I'm coming out of COVID so I'm like mm -hmm. out of undergrad going into my master's at this point I'm like cool I want to run a hospital and run a practice like to manage healthcare you should get that degree yeah so like quick advice is like when you go to school go to school if you need to mm -hmm. like like now that I'm aware I really didn't have to get my master's for respect as a black woman in healthcare it did help me to get two masters and a certificate but like Certain things you really don't need. Yeah. Um, now, like with the things that I learned, I'm like, cool, I gotta get my master's in that. But I love neuroscience psychology. Same. And so, um, 
through like practicing it on myself. Like, I don't know if that's like the Aquarius no, or like just I, things in I general. Like, I even if it. like on a lot of my content, like I'll give you guys more information lately, but a lot of my content is things that I've done for myself. But even within myself, I advocate for myself. Mm -hmm. I stand up for myself. I love that. I love myself. Yeah. So like when it comes to my business, that's me. I'm mm -hmm. a business. I'm my business. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm on yeah. my business and my business. That's my business that pays me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and so like that is, that's me. So a lot of people think that like me, they see my business and my success, but it's like, it's not about the business. <laughs> you know what I'm it's saying? Like, you, yeah. Yeah. And so that's, that's how you get into the scaling part. Like when you have that structure and that foundation, mm -hmm. like what I'm doing right now is I'm basically taking my last company and like the things that I'm doing with my financial advisor and um, I'm opening up like a luxury beauty lounge in Baltimore. So mm -hmm. plan, it'll be like a spa attraction for the DMP that. region. That's real nice. Um, I don't think I've ever been so decisive in my life. So how did like, you get to this point though? Because I feel like this yeah, yeah, is like, such a, like the, the it's thing like with my coach. Always been this way. No, like that situation with my coach, like you know you're going through like the stupid relationships in college. Mm -hmm. Like I was at a place where I really, really, really felt like shit. <laughs> like, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like everything, y'all see how impressed y'all are with me. Imagine being this woman and to, and like like not being hurt. Mm -hmm. Or like when it's time and my feelings are hurt, nobody's validating me. Yeah, you can have everything in the world, but emotions are real. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and so me getting to that point in college where I still don't even know myself. Yeah, yeah. forget the details, just age alone. I'm young, mm -hmm. and so like me getting to that lost point, I've always been been on paper, on paper, on paper. But let me tell you about like the nights where I really thought I was fucking dying. Yeah. Like, let me tell y'all about the saying. nights. Like, the whole thing with my track coach really, really made me uncomfortable and anxious. Yeah. Like, I had yeah. to quit running track because my coach was calling me drunk. Just doing the most. <laughs> calling me drunk late totally. at night. He was going through my Instagram content. That's very uncomfortable. Very much so. Very uncomfortable. Like, whoa. Like, all right. No. Very uncomfortable. Like, things like that. Like, again, like, just my family. You know, divorce is, like, I'm older, but as a kid, it's still, like, your little heart breaks because your family's yeah. breaking apart. Yeah, definitely. And so, definitely. like, dealing with that. And then I want academic probation. Mm -hmm. Like, I went to college and I was having fun, y'all. Y'all hear I was raised with so much structure. Oh, I, 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 know. I went to college. I got kicked out of we, we outside before we <laughs> <I> outside. <know. laughs> and so, like, me just getting to that point where it's, like, again, we're human, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that you have to surrender to. Like, we're human. That's, people my, be that's focused, my big battle. People be focused Surrender. on not knowing it all and they make themselves like, I am not know it all, so I don't know it all. I don't know it all and that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah. 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 And so, like, what I'm doing now, I've had this vision for like four years. Mm -hmm. Patience. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, just like surrender and grace is like one thing I stand on. Like, we call it feminine traits, yeah. but like, that's the gender, that's subjective. Right. right. But everybody yeah. must master that. Yeah. So, like, I, so I guess like what would be some tips on pati patience? Because I feel like now we live in just a society of social media where everything is very instant gratification. Like I gotta get it right now. I gotta be. I gotta have it. I gotta. But you just said this whole process for you has just been you know years on building. Like this has been a dream for you. So how do you? How did you navigate? Honestly, because I know it, I, patience is hard. No, but I just surrendered, y'all. Like I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Coming out of med school, I should have been coming out of med school, y'all. Seven years ago, I would have been starting. I would have been finishing residency right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was my plan. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, okay, I'm going to go to college. I'm going to be a bio major. I'm going to go to med school. I'm going to go to DO for emergency medicine. And then I'm going to come out and I'm going to be this rich, fine black doctor. Period. I love that. <laughs> and then I got to college and I majored in bio. And then I ended up doing lashes. And then I said, hey, I like um, managing. I like organizing. I like structure. Uh, I like advocating for people. I like mm -hmm. I like leading. I like teamwork. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run a hospital. I'm going to create the next John Hopkins that is beyond John Hopkins because of what it's rooted on and what I believe in in medicine. Yeah. But when you think of scaling wise, think John Hopkins. But like I have a brother that's a pilot, so my family, our long term goal is is having our own airport. Mm -hmm. Like so, so you know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. so it's like. But do you hear how everything I'm telling you is right in front of me? Mm -hmm. You see that everything yeah. that 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 is right in front of you. Mm -hmm. So it's like. When I told you those other stories, like those were all those things going on, but I've been the same, I'm the same person. Mm -hmm. We all evolve as people, we're human, mm -hmm. but like that's really how I got to that point of 
confidence was me getting tired of myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I used to have real bad Listen, anxiety, y'all. One night I was, like, literally laying in my yeah. bed. I, I, like, called my roommate, and I'm like, yo, like, I'm about to die. Take me to the hospital. Like, I know emergency medicine. I'm feeling um, pressure in my chest. I'm sweating. My heart's racing. I'm nauseous. I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> I, I'm about to go like and yeah, she's like yo you're having an anxiety attack she's really helping yeah, everything yeah. went away Yeah. and like the next day I was like in shock that my body felt like I was dying like like I don't know if y'all have ever had a panic attack mm-hmm. I had but like I literally felt like I was dying like analyzing literally, yeah, I literally had a heart attack and so like um, I wanted to study that y'all love to learn Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like what is anxiety yes. I had never heard of anxiety for mm-hmm. real I come from a real like Christian family like structured home raising like we don't believe in those things yeah. then yeah. and that was the devil is a liar right? Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm looking into these things and like the brain and like neurological pathways so like what, what I was like telling somebody earlier was the way your brain works is it's like trails I'm a nature girl you walk on grass right you're gonna push it down and kill it or make room for a pathway mm-hmm. that's how your brain works yeah those neural pathways yes. you gotta keep like the like same ones. that's how your brain yeah. works and so like when i realized that like all that trauma had turned my brain that way i didn't want that to define me yeah i didn't want that to be where my brain was i'm like damn this big ass brain that got me a quarter of a million dollars to go to school skip two grades like i need to grow this thing this yeah. is me yeah. And then, you know, you learn your brain tells your heart to beat. That power, I want to own that. That's yeah. subco- your subconscious mind and so, is running it. And so, like, once I figured that out, that's this whole thing. That mm-hmm. That's this own being in itself of being human. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, like, I take pride in being a woman. Because in society today, it's like the man, the man. Uh, 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 like, no, I'm strong too, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And so, like, me, like, really, like, I was so determined to master that. So I'm like looking up neurological psychologists. I'm literally just reading all. Did you get into quantum like, physics as well? Everything. I'm, yeah, I'm, that's, I'm that's so my like, jurisdiction. All of like that. my brain moves like this, all, yes. all on this across the boards. And um, by the time I graduated with my master's recently, mm-hmm. again, um, I still have the same vision, like as far as healthcare. But I'm 25, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> like, yeah. I don't have to do this right now. Have you have plenty of time. And it's like I'm so blessed. <laughs> whereas though, I kind of like ah, to that. And now that I've kind of sat back, I've been working with my brother. So my brother's a pilot. He's 21. He graduated from Embry-Riddle, mm-hmm. which is the number one aeronautical school in the world at the age of 20. With He's one of the top rated pilots right now. That's he's beautiful. working um, yeah. at flight operations at Dulles. But I know how to get some money. We need a private jet. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. going to charter this out. Yeah. <laughs> the people I know, my network, our family, are you crazy? Right. Yeah. And like when I fly with my brother, he'll put you in a cockpit. And really, he loves aeronautics. I love that. Fire pilot. Yeah. I've flown with a lot of pilots. Fire. Like, literally, if he, like, feels like you're not okay, he'll literally, like, are you sure, like, you're okay? Like, because <laughs> if you're not, I want to put the plane on the ground and make sure you're okay. He's a phenomenal pilot. Yes. He will explain all the science. You know, he'll make you secure and fly, and fly with him. I appreciate that. And so I told him, like, my family's plan for me to skip with him. My dad does real estate. My dad likes to travel. I told my dad my plan for, like, my family being the international real, yeah. like, real estate. Mind you, y'all see me. Imagine my family, like. Yeah, but that's, right. that's what it that's, is. That's, that's what we were saying. And like, so like, this has all been in front of me, though. Yeah, right. coming from. So like literally, you know, like one day else. I was like, I'm fighting myself, fighting myself, fighting life. I'm fighting. Mm-hmm. That's why you said combat. Yeah, I'm yeah. combating. Yeah. Don't combat. Yeah, I guess. Like, I guess you know? I, I was saying combat. In no, the no, sense no. That's of, how it feels. Yeah, though. like yeah. also in the sense of like you know not to take away from like my experience or anything yeah. of that sort, but. It seems like you have a village there to support you and your dreams and your endeavors. Like, not everyone has those, I guess, role models to even yeah. look up to, whether they are in your field or, yeah. like, adjacent to what you're doing. Yeah. So, and like, your village, your father, yeah. your brother, your mom, like, oh, I I want to meet, I want to bring them on the show. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, I don't even think so. My family really like, didn't get, like, so we've always had structure. Yeah. Like, you go to school, like, that's what I say about, like, t- traditional, whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it. Like, uh, 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 yeah, the <laughs> conventional. Route. You know what that means? No elasticity. Mm-hmm. So when it came time for me to face the real world, <laughs> that should smack me in the face. Yeah. <laughs> like that's why yeah. I'm saying, like, oh, you're a county girl, you're this, you're why you went to private school. Like, no, like for real, like I really did. Like I just learned about where Park Heights and stuff is. Like you know what I'm saying? No like, like, <laughs> like you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. But also, like, grew up in the church and this. Like, yeah. you know, like, there's so much. Like these things that we're talking about now. Um, I didn't really have to face those things, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but also it's real life. That's it life. Is. That is. is life. 
So like I, I really, um, I didn't get to grasp that until I was on my own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so like when I was on my own and I didn't come from that and, and, and struggle and trauma was in my home, like becoming an adult, finding yourself, that's a part of that. Right. And so like, I was like, all right, I need to, I need to, I need to figure this out. Okay. I don't like the feeling of anxiety. Like I was really going crazy, y'all. Like struggling with crazy anxiety for like a year. Because yeah. I know it sounds cool and y'all impressed with me, but it's hard. I mean, we, we, we all, 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 like, that, all of us that, sitting on this, that, on this that, chair. Like, like, just like, oh yeah. my gosh, like, this is too much. And anxiety <laughs> can be crippling. And I still have my moments like that where yeah. I'm like, yo, like, like, I literally tell myself, like, I'm, I'm not going to not love being myself. Yeah. Because right? it's a lot sometimes. Like, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like, we have employees and you're like, oh my gosh, like, uh, or like, we like, and this is going mm -hmm. wrong. And like, there are things that go wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But like, um, that's why I'm putting an emphasis on speaking with you, you ladies today and just even like reflecting on myself, like the brain, the mind, like I'm telling you, I used to be that crazy girlfriend and all of that too. <laughs> like, you know, Listen, you choose that. We all yeah. Like you choose that. You choose that. <laughs> yeah. like, and that's why I like, when I talk to people, like I like to break down, I like to, I like to find solutions. Mm -hmm. That means pointing at things, that means analyzing. So it's like, we want to be honest with you, let's talk about you, let's talk about what we can control. Mm -hmm. yeah. You only control you. Everything else is very important to surrender to. Mm -hmm. yeah. So even though I said I have brothers and I'll never end up in the beauty industry <laughs> at yeah. one of the top life companies on the East Coast, like even though I said I was never going to go to school around my way, I ended up going to a local school, 10 minutes from my house. Even though I said um, I was going to be a doctor, I don't plan on going back to school soon. I will, but not soon. I have time. I yeah. believe in that. I have time. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of things that I want to do right now. I'm doing a lot of things right now, but I have time. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm a true believer that you are, you attract what you are. Yes. So you hear what I'm speaking and what I believe? Yeah. It's coming. I love it. And I get, yes. and I get it and I got yes. it and I deserve that. Mm -hmm. yes. So like as I made room for it and I got it, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, I deserve this. You know what yes. I'm saying? But it all, it really does start up here. Start up you know what I'm saying? Like, it starts in the mind. Yes. It really does start up there. So yeah. yeah. What advice would you give to like entrepreneurs in the beauty space or anything that doesn't really have that support and they have to look to themselves and... You know, they deal with anxiety. They deal with making, you know, not being able to make the decisions. Yeah. There's trial and error. Yes. You yeah. know, how do you kind of cultivate, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm not going to let anybody's, you know, comments or questions or doubt of me get in the way? Um, don't make room for it. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> like, yeah. That's simple as that, right? <laughs> yeah, like, no, I don't, mean, don't make room for it. And I'm not saying that it's not hard, but let's look on the contrary you have to be that strong mm -hmm. um and i'm sorry if you ain't fit for it you ain't fit for it so you either want to be or you're not yeah <laughs> yeah that's true. yeah and that's thanks. in anything that's in life that's for yourself um and again one thing i do also want to touch on is like that i always am very empathetic about is people who don't have support because i know what support has done for me mm -hmm. um but one thing that i would say is to the people who don't have that validation Cause like me coming from support is why I believe so much in validation mm -hmm. and like feedback. Yeah. Um, if you do not have that from people, really look for it within yourself. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. That's key. Yeah. Oh so, wow. Yeah. That'd be my that. advice. Oh my gosh, this is like great. This, I, know. I, I know. I was like, I'm trying to think of what else to like, because I feel like you've given us all of the gems the pieces, the, the, <laughs> the cookie, everything, like <laughs> the recipe, the ingredients. Um. Oh, wow. So I guess like, what are your, um, I guess, future endeavors for your, for like, you know, just growing your, your lash lounge what do you and want like, to do next? you know, how, how do you want your customer experience? <laughs> how do you want your customer experience to be like when, when people walk away from, you know, their session with you or like mm -hmm. their time, like in your space and you're creating that atmosphere for them, how do you want them to, I guess, remember that experience? Um, I like to add to people. Mm -hmm. I don't care how it is. Yes. Um, I don't want to take away. I love that. And so I want to add to people, and however they receive that. Mm -hmm. um, my next step right now is now that I'm uh, not in school and stuff, mm -hmm. I, a big goal of mine is like uh, finding my foundation on myself. Yes. Because I've always had it on school or being an athlete mm -hmm. or, yeah. And so right now a big goal of mine is... Um, Taking my time and slowing down so I can figure out me. Yeah. I, now, that's so I mean, it seemed like you got it figured. It's like, no, no, let me no I do, but like, 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 yeah. my whole thing is like, I'm so used to being busy and being yeah. everywhere and showing up. Cause like, I paid my tuition out of pocket. Mm. I was hustling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to that. 
that works for me. So like sometimes it's not good when that does to for too long or anything. Sometimes you do gotta slow down. You do. Yeah. I'm like really going through that now. Like I was the same way, always doing mm-hmm. something in college, always and now that I've grown, my therapist is like, So you, you need to calm down. Correct. You just yeah. calm down. Yeah. Like you're twenty five, you're twenty six. Like yeah. you have like you said, yeah. you have time and like it's all about the surrender, it's all about just enjoying the moment now. Instead yeah. of like constantly feeling like you have to do something. Yeah, else. but even even opposite, like when you're going through things, it's something that it's okay to feel that way. Exactly. Just flowing. Mm-hmm. Like being fluid. Be like water. Yeah. Sometimes I'm too fluid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. like you don't you don't wanna like force or oppose. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. yeah. And so um yeah, my next step right now, um, as far as myself, I always like, you know. Even all the things I want to do, I'm realizing it's important to like acknowledge myself first. Yes, so that's what I'm working on with myself. Um, as far as school, I'm not gonna lie, I have free time right now. I applied for a position earlier, being like the director of public health for like John Hopkins, just because I was like, if I want to run something like John Hopkins, let me run John Hopkins. But that was so, yeah, like so, you know, I'm like I have free time now. Um, did that? I don't know. I might start working. I feel like I haven't I haven't really worked a job and. I don't know why not. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm really just on this like float thing. I'm traveling a lot. Um, I'm scaling or really like kind of introducing a new brand of like luxury beauty. Cause mm-hmm. like y'all know how like growing up we used to get your hair done. It was like real pamperish. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, come with your hair wash and blow dry. Boy. Yeah. You it better not be you're just a number 57 money. seconds late. Yeah. Boy. It's money now. Or you and owe so, me 10 or $20 for $25. You're not going to get your deposit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that opposition and that emotion yeah. towards beauty. Like I mm-hmm. like an experience. Yeah. yeah. So like what I'm working on right now is um, putting together and curating this beautiful luxurious spot for people, not even just women. We're going to have men's Monday show. But um, like a place for us to really come together and just experience luxury and the experience of, of beauty and feeling that value, you mm-hmm. know, that we all deserve. Like, so yes. that's what I'm working on now. I love, I love that. We'll be together very that. soon. Um, but I'm having a blast right now. That's really what I'm working that on. Again, I'm doing things with my brother. My brother's a pilot. I could talk about him all day. He just finished school as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so right now I've been flying a lot with him because with me doing business with him, even though his lane isn't mine, I want to understand it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. a lot of my free time, I'm either working on the phone with my advisors, my contractors, I'm doing lashes, I'm working out, I'm doing me, or I'm flying with my brother. That's really like what I have going on now. Yeah. And like stuff like this, I appreciate these conversations. We you appreciate all. you. Yes. So, yeah. So, you know, you. it's fun, it's life, and I appreciate you guys for having me. Of course. Yes. Well, if you have, a, like before we wrap it up, before you give like your socials, mm-hmm. let the girlies and the guys <laughs> yes. know where to find you. If you want to look dead at this camera and just yes. give your most solid piece of advice, to Ooh, solid. most solid piece of advice you've got in that arsenal of confidence and you know experience, what would it be? Um, okay, I'm gonna give y'all a challenge. Anybody who's listening to this, okay, if you gotta start doing, if I want everybody in the world to do one thing, I want you to think about a goal, mm-hmm. whatever just came to your mind, whatever it was, Whatever you you think you have to do to start that or do that, do it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not not the whole goal, nah. just whatever step, whatever way, whatever thought. I just want you to like lean on that direction mm-hmm. and see how far that takes you. Lean that it like that. Step. Yeah, yeah. Just, just do it. I love that. Start so that would be my challenge. That would be my advice. Because that that, that that usually is the hardest part. Mm-hmm. Is the first step. So Surrender to that. Just Surrender allow yourself to, to lean a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever that is, whatever you thought of, do that. I love it. Mm-hmm. Period. And so, stand on it. <laughs> Yes. Yes. So let us know where they can find you on Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media you got, yes. websites. So you can find me on Instagram at the only Jalea. Um, our website right now is Lash Lounge by LJ. That's L is in Larry, J is in Joy. dot com. Um, yeah, same on Instagram. That's uh, my brand on Instagram, my lash brand. If you guys keep up with me, um, I post a lot of knowledge on the things that we talked about today. Mm-hmm. Not really about me, but the education and the experience of the things that, you know, stuff like we're talking about. So um, I believe in social media for interaction. I don't Mm -hmm. want you guys to just follow me. But if you guys have anything like things that, you know, are inspired of today's conversation, I really look forward to like keeping up with you guys and your followers. Of course. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Dropping these gems today. Yes. Yes. All right. You, You heard it here. 
Follow, follow your girl. Follow us. <laughs> Interrupt us. Keep up with us. Keep up. Loaded. Okay. And make sure you take a step to the, towards that goal starting today, tomorrow, right now. Mm -hmm. And we are out. Bye. <laughs>